So our colleague David Espinosa Hall stopped by a local school today where many of the teachers are from Puerto Rico and Mexico, two places that have been hit very hard with natural disasters. He joins us now after speaking with them. David, good evening. And lower, you know, when you guys just had up the satellite images and that story about the grocery store saving the food there for some of the people, it breaks your heart. It was really sad. And you can see it in their eyes. Many of these teachers are very heartbroken as well, knowing that their friends and family members are still right there in Puerto Rico and in Mexico after these hurricanes and earthquakes hit those places. Earlier today, I stopped by Seattle Amistad School, which is in Capitol Hill, to find out how these teachers are coping. How are they dealing with what has happened? Now, many of Raven Ingenito's family members are in Puerto Rico as we speak, and they had to deal with Hurricane Maria. So they've seen flooding, they've seen lack of food and water and no electricity. It was very overwhelming at first, especially because I had just traveled to Puerto Rico this summer to visit family and friends. Um, and so I was just picturing and imagining the local communities there and how much, how, how impacted they would be with such a horrendous storm and the fact that they would be out of power or water and that they already live in, many of the people on the island already live in poverty. Um, so I could only imagine the impact placed on them right now. Now, Atena Cortez's family is from Mexico, and for her, it's been pretty hard as well to see the news of how hard last week's 7.1 earthquake was on her family and friends. So as of now, Mexican officials say the death toll there in Mexico stands at roughly more than 300 as crews continue searching through rubble and also collapsed buildings. Like the devastation, and I was really, really um, concerned trying to um, find my all my family, um, make sure that they were okay. Um, during the first hours, it, it was so difficult to contact them all, because all the lines were like off, and I tried to uh, contact them via WhatsApp. So that's, that was the easiest way to contact them. Uh, fortunately, they were all okay, but um, all of them um, were like really, really devastated because of all of the damage that the city suffered during the, the earthquake. Now, a tennis tells me she is doing a jacket drive where people can stop by the school to donate jackets for the people of Mexico. Also, school organizers also tell me that they are collecting non-perishable food items, things like batteries and also medicine for other hard hit areas as well. You can find more information about these donations and acts of kindness on their Facebook page, which is titled Seattle Amistad School, and that's A-M-I-S-T-A-D, Amistad School. And the school's address, if you are able to go to the school and donate, the address is 1625 19th Avenue. Again, 1625 19th Avenue in Seattle. Mark and Lori, back to you. All right, David, safety here.